All right, so I had success with making biochar this time. I just got this little bitty tin cup. It's, I went ahead and poked some holes in the cover. That's light. That's light. The reason why I feel that's a success is um, I don't want to have to burn to make biochar. I want to burn to make heat. And uh, since I'm heating the house and making biochar at the same time, I'm not putting any additional carbon into the atmosphere to make biochar. I want to show you how this is so light, snap, see that? This snaps right apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's biochar. Yeah, it's pretty neat. So if I fill this little can up, every time I build a fire, and, that, and this was in there for less than 24 hours, by the way, and go ahead and leave that sit in the, with the coals overnight, I'll have that much biochar in the morning. So I suppose the next uh, experiment is to use a larger can. Okay. Here's the wood burner. And I got the can full of dried sticks now. Here's the can right here. And what we make, or are making, is biochar. This is the first batch that I made right here. That is going to be uh, wound up and put into my compost. And I'm going to compost it. And that's going to provide houses for soil life.